This is Star Wars The Clone Wars ARF Trooper. Now this guy is part of I think Wave 6 or Wave 7 of the Clone Wars figures, Clone Wars animated figures. And he is part of the wave which is in the new packaging, uh, the new Clone Wars uh, packaging which I will show right here. There you go. Uh, just like the uh, Mace Windu packaging, it, I think it's a better design. Uh, there's more angles to it, and then you get the face of the uh, the AR ARF trooper uh, with the new red energy uh, stylized Star Wars. Uh, you get to see more of the more of the character at the back, and. This is in the wave with Mace Windu, Admiral Yularen, uh, the Jawas, the Super Battle Droid, and Heavy Assault Super Battle Droid, and Commander Gree. There you go. Um, the figure comes with this big ass gun, which has a missile projectile that fires when you cock it in place and spring loaded and a smaller pistol rifle but uh, I don't think you need this rifle if you have this big ass gun so enough with the packaging let's focus on the figure now ARF stands for advanced reconnaissance fighters now the bio says they often operate operate all-terrain recon transport walkers or the ACRT walkers on scouting or combat operations riding atop these vehicle uh, these armed vehicles ARF troopers can swiftly uh, sweep through an area and cut down bell droids in their path so pretty amazing pretty amazing stuff I don't have the ATRF yet uh, ADRT um, no I don't have that uh, if, if I do get one I'll make sure to mount this guy on it there is I think has been Hasbro has released a couple of years ago in, in the legacy series or the saga series or something sort of something like a uh, an ATRT walker I don't know but uh, in the meantime let, let's just do without it this guy is amazing uh, except for the fact that the entire body from the neck down is just a regular clone trooper body the only difference here is he's gotten the gun from the 41st elite elite core elite trooper the one in green green stripes and a new head sculpt that's it it's basically a clone trooper with a new gun with a recycled gun and a new head mold nevertheless this guy is amazing and one thing that really really uh, sold this guy to me was that the head sculpt is sort of reminiscent of a biker scout not exactly like a biker scout but a uh, biker scout trooper but I'm a big fan of those biker scouts especially in the moon and en moon of Endor when they were rushing through their speed bikes their uh, speeders speeders I, me I meant and they were just amazing amazing I'm you know I'm still looking for the mighty mugs uh, biker scouts but um, I thought this was a biker scout actually when I was sifting through the the boxes on retail and then I saw the then I saw the name is an Arth trooper so I didn't really care I just picked him up uh, pretty hard to find because a lot of people have wanted this, this figure just like Commander Gree so you know if you're if, if you can still see him on retail I mean he's, he's not a bad purchase I, I highly recommend picking him up just for this head sculpt I mean even if it's just for this head sculpt and you know if you like the gun of the 41st trooper then you're gonna love this guy I mean he's pretty stable because of the knee articulation it rotates 360 and bends forward and backward unlike the Jedi figures that don't really have knees or or, or ankle articulation uh, or, or um, in and out movement of the, of the, of the hips. This guy's pretty stable. I mean, he can hold his gun high, uh, no problem. Uh, waist up, he's got regular articulation. I mean, uh, upper torso is on a ball joint, 
uh, shoulders go in and out 360 rotate at the elbow and bent at the elbow rotate at, and bent at the wrists um, and the head is on a ball joint so yeah um, this guy's one amazing clone trooper figure I mean if you have to, if you haven't picked up any clone troopers yet uh, because you feel you know you've gotten too many of them this is something you I think you should pick up especially if you're a fan of the Clone Wars and Clone Wars animated show I highly recommend this figure I mean he doesn't look that much from the neck down I mean, he's a regular white trooper but just the combination of the new head sculpt and, and this big ass gun is amazing I mean him and the 41st trooper they're great I mean the gun really really sells this figure and I cannot recommend this guy enough. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wanting this figure. So if you can still see him, I, I recommend you pick him up. If any one of you is wondering where I got this figure, I got him at our local Toys R Us. Uh, out here in Manila, he is priced at roughly $10. Tax included. In your neck of the woods, or especially if you're in the U.S., this guy is probably cheaper, but... Here in Manila, he is about ten dollars. Got him at Toys R Us, um, and he's probably available in, in other major retail stores like Toy Kingdom or Rustans. But you know, he's out there, but he's very hard to find right now uh, because they haven't got a lot of stock of him yet. Just like Commander Gree, very difficult to find. So if you see him, I suggest go pick him up. Just one last 360 of him. Very nice. I just uh, very surprised. I like. I mean, I'm very pleased, pleasantly surprised with this figure. I thought it was gonna be dull, but he's not. Okay, so there you have it. Star Wars: The Clone Wars, ARF Trooper. Thanks for watching.